I know that I said I'd put talky talky videos on my second channel, but I think last week's Dalinator video warrants a wrap up on this channel. So last week's video, the Dalinator 5000, was a little bit controversial in terms of the responses. It's probably the only video I've had which has warranted that sort of response. Everything's either been one or two people just not liking something or generally positive. This is still generally positive and to be quite honest that surprised me. I didn't think it'd be that positive but there were quite a few people who did not like the video. To put it into context we're into week I think 34 of this year and I've released somewhere between 70 and 80 videos. All of them except for one have been serious. Uh, not all of them have been project videos. 32 of them have had project numbers so that doesn't include any wrap-ups uh, or tool talks, tool wobbles I should say, uh, or the multi-part videos including the Shogun bed which I think was in four parts, the definitive pen turning guide which is in four or five parts and the re most recent one being the Fusion 360 for woodworkers series. So it's interesting to see a lot of the comments saying don't ever do this ever again, you're changing the direction of the channel blah 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 in one out of 80 just for the year, not even for you know the entire channel's length but the year. But as I said most of the responses were very positive and that was nice to see. Most of you got it. Uh, it was just a bit of fun, that's about it. I needed to make a jig and it was a dowel making jig. In this case it's a lathe duplicator without a bearing or without a template I should say. Uh, it was made from parts entirely found in the workshop. My workshop not everyone's workshop and it didn't work out how I wanted it to be uh, so I had a bit of fun with the video. Uh, I will redesign that and do a more serious video sometime down the track. Uh, so as I said it's a lathe duplicator or lathe copier just without the template so all it does is make a straight dowel. Why would I need to make a straight dowel? Well that actually follows on to the previous week's project which was the Moxon Vice. I'm thinking of selling Moxon Vice kits. Now I could sell the whole Moxon Vice but that gets a little bit pricey for shipping and it's a bit more work and all of that. So the kit I'm thinking of selling would be the two screws. So screw and handle and two nuts. So these nuts you'd screw onto the back of your Moxon Vice drill two 38 millimeter holes through the back and front jaws, screw that on and you've got yourself a Moxon vise. Now there's a little bit more to it and I'll get into that later but the purpose of that jig was to make the shaft here uh, fairly easily and repeatable and quickly because doing it by hand is a slow process and it's not a lot of fun having to check over and over and over the diameter of the screw before you then thread it. If you didn't quite catch it this goes in and out at the lathe, it's got a carbide tipped cutter that I made, uh, goes left and right back and forth. The limiter is this here so if I was to undo that I could adjust how far forward it goes. Now if I hook that up to a template or a, a pin and a template you could follow the curves of a template uh, so the template would be fixed across here or something like that. Now originally my intention was that I wouldn't need a toolbar hoping that this would all be stiff enough hence using the two shafts. It's not. So there isn't a lot of point having two shafts if you need to use a toolbar because you just have the one shaft and then lean it on the toolbar cut that way. So that's likely how I'll redesign it. Get rid of one of that one of these shafts so it's easier to mount on the lathe, takes up a bit less space. I'll redesign the carriage as well. So not last week, the week before I made my Moxon vise with these two octagonal handled screws. This works really well but it can be a little bit stiff so uh, you don't have a lot of leverage on there. So when I started making the screws for the prototype to send to somebody uh, I hadn't actually decided on the handle. I thought I might make up a handle, drill a hole, glue it in uh, and that would have worked okay. It doesn't really give you a lot of leverage and in the end I needed to make a crank, this crank here, to help advance the screw through the router. 
It wasn't really necessary, but it did uh, save on labor and made it more pleasant. And because this was so easy to use, I actually attached it to one of the screws and lo and behold, it actually worked really well. The only problem with a crank like this is that it sits above the vise chop or it can. So this here starts to get in the way. It's not the end of the world, but it could be problematic in some circumstances. So what I settled on was a hub. So you put a hub handle through there and you got your traditional vice turny, screwy thingy. Uh, and the reason why they're in two different woods is because one of these exploded and I'm doing prototypes to see what species of wood I would like to use, uh, what looks attractive, that sort of stuff. The kit that I'd be looking at selling would include two hubs, two screws, two handles with, well, four of the um, handle stops, knobs, whatever you want to call them, eight brass screws and the two nuts. These could be glued or screwed onto the back of the back jaw, back chop. And I would include a copy of printed plans. This is out of date, but I wanted to see what the printing process was at Officeworks to see how that actually comes up. This is printed on Tyvek, which is uh, water resistant, tear resistant, that sort of stuff. So that's neat. Uh, and the color comes up really nicely. You don't strictly need that for a Moxon vise. It's fairly straightforward, but I thought it might be nice to include. That's what the Dowlinator was all about. Uh, the video style was just letting off a bit of steam and having fun. And for those who are deeply offended by that, I'm truly sorry that you cannot experience any joy in your life. Uh, hopefully the more boring style that I typically do instructional style will be returning next week uh, on a mitosaur fence well for my mitosaur thanks for watching